So check out, I just found a Migo here at the Mobile World Congress. I'm going to boot it up here on the Freescale IMX51. And this is a Migo implementation done based on the open source Migo that's available on the internet. Uh, it's I think it's a company called Numovoc. I think they are on the on the desktop, so we can check it out. So right here, this is how it looks like when it boots up. Migo. There it is, Numovoc. And uh, so this is what you can do with Migo. You can move things around so on the desktop. You can move this one over here. You can uh, add more stuff, maybe. You can have the weather notes. Uh, let's add note here. Oh, maybe like this. Oh, here, okay. I'll do it like this. And then I can uh, finish the customization, and I can add some the note. I can edit it. I think. How's it work? Well, there's a way to do it. And here's. Uh, this is the some notes. Yes, you have the desktop screens. They show up with bubbles right here, like a little bit like Android. And uh, there you have the launch. And launch is all the apps. This is the Migo. So maybe we go on uh, calculator, and we can check if it's good at calculating. Oh no, it's not. Okay, maybe it's just me. I didn't type right. And uh, court board, what is that? So here we can uh, put some. <coughs> so this is just like a really a, a, like a reference platform with a basic screen, just to show that it can run on iMac 51. You have a full Migo, and it's it's the first time that it's shown with a full hardware acceleration. So it takes advantage of the graphics in this. And if we go on a website, I don't think there's a Wi-Fi in here, is there? No. There's no internet here. Check, check what happens when I click. It does small fireworks. Migo is full of fireworks. Check it out. Fireworks scene. Alright, uh, the browser, the Joker. Let's check, check out the Joker. This Joker? Well, I'm not really sure how it works. Joker. Five in a row. Settings. Let's check out the settings. Is this the Migo settings? Start automated run. So what happens in automated run? Then it's automated. I don't know what it means. Up here. Info. That's Migo. It's uh, basically an open source alternative and supposedly all these apps can run natively on the processor, on the ARM processor. So there's a lot of native stuff going on. You can change the background. Then I select the background here. You can change the background. Then that's the background. A little rabbit in the background. Right. So there's Migo. It's open source. So even if Nokia is not really doing it anymore, other people can do it. It's open. Anybody can take it. And uh, it's basically it's kind of like an alternative to Android. And it's fully hardware optimized here on an ARM processor. So Intel is not really needed. You can just use IMX51 or the 53, I guess. And the next one's coming.